So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1000 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1000 code? Well, it's an onboard diagnostic system readiness test not complete. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer needs to go through a series of tests, mainly for the EVAP system, which has to do with smog. And either it hasn't finished doing these tests and it needs more time to finish it, or it's not able to complete them for some reason. And so basically this can happen if the PCM was reset and it hasn't been able to finish these tests that it needs to run. And when you get this code, you very likely are not going to be able to pass a smog test. So if you do have a smog test coming up, then you'll need to get this code to clear. And so what are some possible causes? Well, basically anything that resets that onboard computer can cause this to happen. So if the battery was recently replaced or something like that, then that could reset the onboard computer. If there was a bad battery terminal and that was replaced or cleaned up or something like that, then that can also cause this problem. And so how do you go about resetting a Ford with the P1000 code? Well, basically you won't be able to clear it with the scan tool, but the vehicle is going to need to go through what's called a drive cycle so that the onboard computer can run through all these tests that it needs to run through and check all the components that are working correctly. And so if you took it to a mechanic, what they would tell you is just go drive the vehicle around and hopefully the onboard computer can complete its test and go through the drive cycle that it needs to. There is a sequence of steps that you can do that can help you go through this drive cycle and get this code to clear. It can vary a little bit depending on the Ford, the year, the model, and things like this. So it can be a good idea to Google your specific Ford along with drive cycle just to see what it is and what it would take to complete the drive cycle. I'll put a link down below to what I'm looking at here if you need to check this out. But for example, right here, you can see the fuel level needs to be between 15 and 85%. You start the vehicle, you idle for four minutes, then you drive for one for one minute, then you drive on an empty street or highway at 45 miles an hour. And these sequence of events is what the onboard computer needs to do to help finish what's called the drive cycle on that particular Ford. Like I said, these steps can vary a little bit depending on the year, the model, and things like this. And this is why mechanics will tell you just go ahead and drive it and hopefully the code will clear in like a week or two because at some point you would have gone through all these different various drive cycles that the onboard computer needs to do to clear. But there is times that you go through these drive cycles and, or you just drive the vehicle around for like a couple of weeks and things like this and the code still won't clear. So if that does happen to you, one of the things to do is be sure to look and see if you have any EVAP codes because there might be an error inside the system or there might be a component that's having an issue that's gone bad or something's going on with it and so the drive cycle is not going to be completed because there is a problem inside of the system and so if you can't get the p1000 code to clear be sure to look to see if you have any other evap codes but basically if you have a ford and you have a p1000 code there's no way to clear it with the scan tool you're going to have to go through a drive cycle and the onboard computer is going to check to be sure everything's working correctly and once it sees that then it'll clear the code and so that's basically it i just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a ford with the p1000 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day